All right, Unit 10, Lesson 1 is all about interest formulas. So the simple interest formula is I, which is just the interest earned, is equal to P, which is our principal, which is what you start with. R is the rate, and you always want to write that as a decimal, so you want to divide it by 100. And then T is our time. They'll give you an increment of time. Okay. So for example one, it says, how much money will we have if we invest 78.95 at 8.6% for 25 years? All right. So our interest is P times R times T. So our principal is 78.95. We're going to divide this by 100 or move our decimal 2 to the left. So 0 0.086 and our increment is 25 years. So we are going to multiply those all out. All right, I've got 7895 times 0 0.086 times 25. Now, This is already in two decimal places since it's money, and we've got okay. If it wasn't, then you would round it to two decimal places, but that works. Now, this is just our interest. So, if we want our total money. We're going to take our principal and we're going to add our interest. So plus seven, eight, nine, five. So all together we'd have about $24,000. They didn't want the interest, they wanted our total amount. All right, example two. How much interest will we have? See how it's worded differently? We've got 650 at 4% for three months. So P R T. All right, so we've got our principal, our rate, so it starts here divided by 100, so 0 0.04. And our time, this is three months, and our interest rate is a yearly interest rate. So we can always do three divided by 12 months. If you knew that what that was in a decimal, you're welcome to use that as well. And we can just literally type it straight in. So I'm going to move this up. 650 times 0 0.04 times 3 divided by 12. So. See how it's 6.5, and we want to write that as money. So we would have $6.50. Okay? And that's all they want is the interest this time. Uh, last question. How much money did we invest? So that means we're looking for our principal. If we earned, that's our interest, our rate, and our years. So I equals P R T. So I know my interest, we're going to substitute. I don't know my principal. I know my rate, we move it two to the left, divide by 100, and our time. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply those out. So five times 0 0.085 is 0.425. And to get P by itself, we're going to divide by our decimal. So type that in. And we started with 78,870. And notice I do have a bunch of decimal places, so we're going to round since it's money. And that's the principle that we started with. All right, now a compound interest formula, um, they kind of figure out 
they add your interest at different increments. So instead of just doing it once a year, we can do it every month, every day, every hour. And the more you do it, the more money you make. So A is our final amount. P is our principal, what we start with. The one stays, the plus stays. R is still our rate as a decimal. N is the number of times they call it compounding. That's how many times they calculate it. N is still the same. And then T is our time. Okay. All right, so let's do some of these. Same thing, money goes to two decimal places. So I'm gonna leave that there. We've got, and you'll notice the difference is now we start seeing the word compounded. So A equals P one plus R over N to the NT and substitute what you know. So I don't know my final amount. We're gonna start with 42,000. One plus our rate, we're gonna move this two to the left. Um, in. So if it's compounded monthly, that means that our n is 12. And then n times t, 12 times 10 years. Now, you can type this all into your calculator. If you're using a different calculator, you don't, you'll need to do some things differently, but this is where you'll play around with yours to get it to match. So I've got 42652, 1 plus 0 0.035 divided by 12. And then my power, I'm going to use parentheses because I want to make sure it does 12 times 10 together. Okay. And this is money, so I'm going to make that 24 cents. And that's how much money we'll have. So this figures out your interest and adds what you start with all together. So example five. How much interest will I earn if I invest this much? So I've got A equals, we see the word compounding, P1 plus R over N to the NT. So we're starting with $1,000. 1 plus my rate is 0 0.09. This is annually, which means it's only going to happen once a year. And then n times t is 6. So I'm going to type that in. One times six, and then I don't have to use parentheses. So I get one, six, seven, seven, ten. Now remember, that includes my interest and my principal. So all they want to know is the interest. So if I take off my principal, that means I got $677 in interest, which is what they asked for. Okay. And my last one, they tell us our final monthly balance after seven years of being invested quarterly is $8,500. So let's set up our general formula. That means that $8,500 is what I ended up with. That's our A. How much money did we invest? So that is my P I need to find. One plus my rate, 0 0.0475, do not round. It is compounded quarterly. So quarters, there's four quarters in a year. And then four times, we did it for seven years. Okay, so now to find P, I need to find this amount right here. So we're gonna type that into a calculator. I get 8,500 equals P times all of that. Divided by four to the four times seven is 28. Now that is a big long decimal, okay? It's better if you don't round this and so I know I'm going to divide. And so I can do 8,500 and I can type in, oops, 8,500 divided by 
if I hit answer on my calculator, it's going to put that big long decimal in here. So you'll want to do that. If you don't, your answer will be off, and that's why. So 6107.54. That would be how much money we started with.